What's poppin' y'all? It's a couple of rappers, I can think of a short list of two off rip. The Game and Soldier Boy, which are legends, but every time you wanna call them a legend, you're like, uh, I just wish they did a lot less. So the legend word could come out easier. We kinda get choked up trying to say it. Soldier Boy, for instance, legend for what he did in 2007, legend for consistently being able to identify new artists and bring them on, for example, Famous Dex, Chief Keef, who else? Rich the Kid, Migos, he was an early collaborator of many, many rappers before they got anyone to collab with them. But he decided to go crazy on Metro Boomin for what I believe to be no reason. So a tweet surfaced from Metro Boomin from 2012, 12 years ago, where he says, my phone rings to come to the studio with Jeezy, yours rings to send Soldier Boy a pack of beats, sit down. And I thought this one was funny because Metro Boomin, after we're seeing a lot of old Metro Boomin tweets, Metro Boomin tweets exactly like how someone did when they were young in 2012 to 2014. And I don't mean young, young. I would say somewhere between 16 to 24. That's how people were tweeting. It was engagement farming. It was just crazy jokes. And he seems like a cool guy, at least back then. I don't know the guy personally, but just from his tweets. And I'm not talking about those other tweets that you weirdos are going to start talking about. So Soldier Boy, he puts on his Instagram story, Happy Mother's Day at Metro Boomin. If you're still unfamiliar, had forgotten, Metro Boomin's mother was killed by her boyfriend or fiance, and then the guy killed himself. So it's a really tragic story. Metro Boomin was really, really hurt about that. And then people come at Soldier Boy and they say the following, or people come at Soldier Boy and then he reacts. All the streams, sales, money, and fame not gonna bring your mom back, Metro Boomin. Was it worth it? I can say F this money and fame and still be a boss, can you? You sacrifice your own mom, Metro Boomin. You a puppet. And someone says, you mad at him for a 12-year-old tweet? Dumbass. And Soldier Boy says, I don't give a F if it was 20 years ago. Don't speak on me, period. The hell? I don't give a damn. It's always cool when they come at me, but when I defend myself, it's too much? F that dude, mama. Don't speak on my name. And then this one he exposed, he said you was trying to send me beats too. And then September 2012, so it's a couple of months from that. He says, what up my G, trying to send you these beats, what's your email? The guy didn't even reply to him. Although it looks like Soldier Boy may or may not have deleted his own replies to the DM. And then academics post something about 21 Savage. He says, what happens in 24 hours in Metro Boomin don't delete the tweet that Soldier Boy says he better delete. And then Soldier says, or I'm slapping the hell out of him and Metro. I'll beat the hell out of Metro and 21 Savage. Sign the boxing contract since you guys so tough. And then Soldier Boy goes on this video clip. Who's a bitch, dude? Metro grooming. Now I'm about to get on your ass. I mean, fucked up, bitch. I need to delete that tweet. My mama, nigga, I'm from Zone 1, Westside, nigga. Something from her, nigga. Delete that tweet, nigga. I don't give a fuck if it was three years old. I don't give a fuck if it was 20 years old, nigga. Delete that tweet, lame man, nigga. Delete that tweet, pussy ass, nigga. I want me to get on your ass, nigga. Matter of fact, I'm already on your at this point, it's kind of getting to, we've seen Soldier Boy do this for what, 15 years? Not 15. I would say Soldier Boy really started tweaking out 11 years ago. Maybe 11, yeah. Around, I would say 2011, post, post 2011 is when he just started beefing with everybody. The whole big Draco thing didn't start off until probably 2014 when he started doing this whole crazy gangster thing. Because if you guys remember, he tried to keep the kid image, the family friendly, safe image for quite a while, which was brilliant to do at the time. It wouldn't have lasted long into his career after he, you know, became an adult. But it lasted well, and it's just sad we see Soldier Boy take it to these lengths because Soldier Boy has become somewhat of a clown of hip hop in the sense that he can do something crazy disrespectful like this, and people won't hate him. They'll hate the action, but they'll be like, ah, it's, it's Soldier Boy. He's an attention seeker. And that's the problem when you become the joke because nobody's really going to take you seriously. And that's the case that Soldier Boy has built for himself over a very long time. One of the surprising things that people have mentioned is nothing has really happened to Soldier Boy. And I think that's just because people don't even take him serious. It's kind of like they just think he's slow. So that guy, oh, yeah, we'll farm some engagement off of this guy. I don't think Metro Boomin is looking at it like that because Metro Boomin hasn't even addressed him and he should not address him. Like Metro Boomin, Soldier Boy, these guys are in complete completely different galaxies. Soldier Boy, he's still doing good off of his music. He has one song every now and then. Soldier Boy, I feel like is the definition of quantity over quality and why it works. He be like, yo, Soldier Boy has had hits here and there. Yeah, when you've dropped 10,000 songs, you're bound to have at least 10 that do well. And that's that's what Soldier Boy is. He just keeps throwing stuff at a wall. The guy just dropped a tape that did nothing. Like the majority of Soldier Boy tapes. The only Soldier Boy 
tape, mixtape, album that did anything ever was his first one. And maybe the second one. After that, I think the first one was iSoldierBoyTellHim.com. Was that the album name? Pretty sure. But yeah, he's dropped so many different projects. Swag 6, all of this other nonsense. Like, for example, he just dropped a single. When when did he drop this? May 9th, right? It's been a week. It's got 10K streams. Him. The song is him. That does not look like him. 10K streams? It's insane. And you got to think, Soldier Boy's got like a 12 million monthly listeners. That is insane levels of flopping. And that's a single, not even a, hell, an actual project. So you could say a project that would be more difficult to accumulate a bunch of streams. And it won't send out the entire list to people's release radar or whatever. So people must be just skipping Soldier Boy. And you can tell from Soldier Boy's most popular tracks on Spotify, this populates by recent too. So they're all old songs i mean he's got she make it clap here which is a recent hit that he had and what was the song not pretty boy rick pickle rick i don't even remember i don't even know what that show is i've actually never watched an episode about it yeah rick and morty yeah rick and morty there it is rick rick (laughs) so yeah i think this is just gonna blow over nobody's gonna start hating soldier boy nobody's gonna think soldier boy is a bad person we just look at soldier boy some would say a clown but also a character we don't see soldier boy as an actual human being that has regular feelings that gets upset that gets happy we just look at soldier boy as a character on a tv show and i don't even i can't imagine interacting with soldier boy for an hour off camera can you even fathom what that would be like because i can't i just imagine his on-camera personality and if someone is like that on camera for 15 plus years then we're probably best to assume that he's also like that off camera right because some people say oh this person's acting if someone's able to act consistently for 15 years every time they're in front of a camera and not quote unquote fall out of character that person is an incredible actor what's a higher likelihood that that person is an incredible actor with no experience although i think soldier boy did get a bit of acting experience i don't know no he got all those face tattoos i think and he was saying that he was going to get them removed soldier boy is also a consistent liar but that's a rapper trait not a soldier boy trait but yeah i think this is actually really really far going at him from this end some people were pointing out that he wasn't saying nothing to Blueface, which he was saying some stuff to Blueface, but he wasn't taking it too far because Blueface was ready to lose it all. And isn't Blueface supposed to get out sometime before the summer? We've kind of been missing out on something that we never really wanted in the first place with how Blueface was acting. But he's been chilling there in jail. Maybe he's enjoying it a little bit too much because we used to get calls from him in the beginning saying he loves jail. People was just scrapping over there and working out. I'm like, okay. Blueface is a different breed, but that's where Soldier Boy met his match. I think this is just going to blow over in one to two days. But the thing is, people don't forget this type of stuff. And this is probably why we haven't seen Soldier Boy collab with anybody. Who has worked with Soldier Boy in the past couple of years? I haven't seen anybody. But Soldier Boy doesn't really need anybody. He can just either get beats from random producers or produce himself. And he's just cemented himself with old songs. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Is this the furthest you've seen Soldier Boy take it? I would say this was really, really foul, especially for something that wasn't recent at all. For example, the Kanye West thing, he took it really, really far. But in that issue, Kanye had left him off of a song, which there's nothing wrong with doing that, but it was, it was something recent. So you could be like, okay, Soldier Boy got mad at this, that happened in the past couple of months. This is 12 years ago, but probably in Soldier Boy brain, oh, this appeared in front of me and I found out about it yesterday, so I gotta go hard on it. With no context, no understanding of when this was tweeted, why this was tweeted, where Metro Boomin was at in life. Because if you take a look at, hell, Tyler the Creator, he was clowning people that he ended up doing music with. If you look at Travis Scott, he was clowning T.I. He was calling T.I. trash in so many tweets, and he ended up signing the Grand Hustle. It's just a thing people do when they feel like nobody's actually paying attention to their tweets. They just talk trash. They don't mean it. It's just a meme. Is there anybody that does bigger clown activity like this than Soldier Boy? But let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you enjoyed. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you for watching. Peace.